sisi wote tushikane pamoja na wakenya wengine tuzingatie na tuangalie mambo ya maendeleo yetu mambo ya siasa kama viongozi wa mlima Kenya tumesema sisi kama wabunge wa sehemu hii ya mlima Kenya na diaspora yetu walioko na kuru na hata lamu tutazingatia na kuangalia mambo yetu ya maendeleo sio mambo ya siasa na wanasiasa wanaotaka kutumia jamii yetu kujitafutia uongozi na makuu yao wenyewe bila kujali palipo wananchi walio tuchagua ndio tumeungana leo tukiwa wabunge nane tukasema vile wale wengine kutoka Meru, Embu na Tharaka Nithi walisema tunataka kiongozi atakaye tuleta pamoja sisi wote atusaidia kutuunganisha na serikali kuu kufuatilia miradi yetu ya maendeleo barabara ziliyokwama watu kuwekewa stima manyumbani kwao shule zetu kustawi watu kupata maji manyumbani barabara zetu ili tufanikishe yale mambo ambayo tuliwaambia wakati tuliwaomba kura na tukasema kwa heshima hatuna vita na mtu yeyote ama kiongozi yeyote hata yule anayetaka kusimama urais mwaka wa 2027 pia ye ni mkenya awe ni wa hapa awe ni wa kwingine akitaka kuunda marafiki na marafiki wengine atafute serikali nyingine sisi watu wa hapa mlima Kenya asituingize kwa mipango yake ya kibinafsi ya kujitaftia na tukose yale tungepata kwa hii serikali kwanza tuvune hii ikifika 2027 nyinyi ndio wenye kusema si nyinyi ndio wenye kusema nyinyi ndio mtasema nyinyi ndio mtasema kama Faith Geta ameendafanya kazi aendelee si ndio kama William Ruto amefanya kazi aendelee kama huyu kagu amefanya kazi aendelee kama mheshimiwa Gashagua MP wetu hapa Ndaragwa amefanya kazi aendelee si ndio na yule hajafanya kazi tumwambie pumzika utafute kazi ingine si ndio that's why we are saying tusiwe na mtu anauzia hawa wabunge uoga na mimi ndiye kiongozi wa hawa wabunge mimi ndiye kiongozi wa wabunge mimi ndiye majority leader wa Kenya hata kwa hii broad base hata wale wa minority sasa mimi ndiye kiongozi wao si ndio na kama kiongozi wao mimi nilisema nitaweka kifua yangu mbele ni kinge na nilinde haki ya hawa wabunge sababu hawa wamechaguliwa na wananchi sio kiongozi mmoja wabunge wasitishwe ati ni lazima waende wapigie mtu mmoja magoti by december ili wachaguliwe tena nyinyi ndio wenye kusema nyinyi ndio mtasema yule atachaguliwa na yule hamtachagua hiyo siasa tutasema watake wasitake na hapo tutasimama watu watake wasitake mlituchagua sisi tuwafanyie kazi tuwatafutia maendeleo lakini si tukaenda kupiga magoti kwa mtu na nikimalizia wale wamepea kila fedh mpaka disemba wako wamerudi peke yao tunawaambia tumewapea mpaka disemba wako wamerudi pande ya serikali ama hata wao tuwanyoroshe vilivyo wale viongozi ambao wa, wanafanya siasa kwanza tuwache siasa tufanye kazi kwa sababu hawa walituchagua tufanye kazi sio kupiga siasa na watu wanatuangalia vizuri wanajua ni akina nani wanafanya kazi na ni akina nani wanafanya siasa tunaoba viongozi wote all leaders to concentrate on delivering on the mandate they were trusted by the people and to deliver on the responsibilities they were given by the people sio si kila siku siasa na hawa wataki siasa ama mnataka siasa mnataka siasa ama tufanye kazi mnataka siasa ama tufanye kazi tuambie wale viongozi wameshindwa na kazi waendelee kufanya siasa hawa watu watachagua wale viongozi wanafanya kazi so members of the for the state uh, we wish to issue a statement by mount kenya and diaspora leaders uh, forum and uh, we wish to state as follows uh, fellow kenyans we stand before you as representatives of the people 
leaders comprising of Mount Kenya Parliamentary Forum committed to advancing legislative and development initiatives to the benefit of the people we represent in the region and those in diaspora. We hereby reaffirm our irrevocable faith in the unity and indivisibility of our region and the nation of Kenya. We come to you in tremendous humility to express immense gratitude and admiration to the people of Kenya and of this region for electing us to represent your interests and for electing the Kenya Kwanzaa administration with President William Ruto as the leader of our country. And we have resolved that we shall be meeting regularly to take stock of the progress and to review achievements and necessary interventions on critical issues that are of concern to the people we represent. We shall further form a coordinating committee to serve as a linkage between us and the executive in the advancement of people-sensitive legislative and development agenda in our region and region's interests uh, in the diaspora. Exactly one day short of today, two years ago, on the 13th of September 2022, President William Ruto was sworn in as the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. His inauguration marks the beginning of a new era, resonating with the hopes and aspirations of many Kenyans who believe in the greatness of our country and the unbreakable bonds that bind the people of this nation together. The hallmark of the 2022 election was a resounding vote of the residents of Mount Kenya for President William Ruto, a first where this region voted almost to a man for a presidential candidate born and raised in another part of the country. Of the country. We are proud to have, to have contributed to the marking of, of making of this history. The Kenya Kwanzaa administration has overseen the country through extremely difficult economic challenges during the past two years. President Ruto has steered Kenya off an economic cliff, resulting in reduced cost of essential foodstuffs, household commodities, fuel, and the strengthening of the Kenya shilling against foreign currencies in a difficult post-COVID-19 period. Today, the country is no longer facing the risk of debt uh, distress. With the country's economic economy assuming a positive trajectory, we expect the next three years to be the period when this administration will help our constituents and the rest of the country to revitalize the economy and improve the economic well-being of Kenyans. Unfortunately, our effort to consolidate the development needs of the people we represent and converse for their realization, their realization has been frustrated <coughs> by the lack of a focal point of reference around whom we can channel the interests and priorities of our people to the government for actualization. Instead, the Mount Kenya region has suffered high octane politics around the fathom unity to support individual and personal ambition rather than the actualization, pursuit and lobbying of the interests of the constituents. Our attempts to call the region to the orderly presentation of the development needs of the people has been frustrated by condescending threats of dire political consequences unless we support certain personal interests and ambitions. Yet, time is of the essence given that we are already under three years to the end of the first term of this administration. As we continue with superiority contests and bickering, the people we represent <laughs> expect us to aggregate and lobby for prioritization of key projects to ensure the actualization of the promises in our manifesto on the guaranteed minimum returns, GMRs, for our food and cash crops, including coffee, tea, potatoes, macadamia, better prices for milk and poultry products, reduction of the cost of animal feeds, and advancements of our business, commercial and enterprise interest, and other outstanding manifesto commitments. We have also resolved to champion for a favorable division of revenue regime that provides a formula that greatly uh, benefits the people that we represent. The people we represent expect us to pay ahead better prices for their tea and coffee. We are behind schedule in the enactment of legislative reforms critical to the revitalization of key economic sectors relevant to our constituents. They also have a number of road and water electricity projects which have stalled uh, several years ago that require priority funding for completion. It is our firm belief that we focus on unity of purpose. It is possible to put our energies together and realize get out great outcomes for the people we represent during the remaining three years. We commit to redouble our efforts to ensure that the priority projects are marked for, for our region and for our people in the diaspora that are in the Kenya Kwanzaa plan 
are implemented. We further commit to accelerate the passing on of key legislative reforms that are critical to the improvement of the main economic sectors relevant to our constituents and prioritization of budgetary allocations to stalled and priority development uh, projects in the region and the diaspora. On this basis, we meet here today to reinstate our commitment to the unity and development agenda of all the people of Matikanya region and diaspora, even as we advance the collective uh, of Kenya as a nation. Accordingly, we are convinced beyond doubt that the unity of this region must be pursued in the context of the unity of the nation as a whole. We are, on indivisible, sorry, we are one indivisible people of Kenya and must always put our country first, Kenya Kwanzaa. Given the prevailing state of affairs and the urgency of the mission ahead, there is need to have a linkage, a link that will create a nexus between us and the national executives on matters development. Accordingly, we as elected leaders from this region and its diaspora, on our own behalf and that of our people, unanimously resolve that our link to the national government to be the Cabinet Secretary for Interior and National Administration, Professor Kidure Kindiki, whose responsibilities in the executive includes the coordination of national government uh, functions across the country. This declaration is issued on the 12th of September 2024, uh, following, uh, uh, sorry, uh, by the following uh, members. We are going to share uh, this uh, report uh, with you so you'll be able to see the members uh, present. We have uh, 35 members uh, with us here. Then we have uh, uh, some uh, uh, 13, 13 members who have, uh, are not here with apology, so it's a total of 48. Uh, but they are all in concurrence with uh, what, in concurrence with what uh, we, we have said. And uh, since we are going to share this uh, uh, statement with you, uh, you'll probably be able to look at it further. And uh, with that, I, I am calling this one to order now. Members allow me to speak to the members of the fourth assembly.